All right, that's us going out live for some more Time Machine VR. So I think this is level four that we're going into. Yep, it is. One, two, three, four. So, and we've looked at the dino decks. So we'll just go for it. Let's get right in here. So I'm quite excited. See what other dinosaurs it's going to show me. See if we can find a cure, because look at that. 340 million, basically. Dead by this virus. Pretty much 1.7 billion infected. Let's go scan here. All systems are now online and operational. Prepare for temporal relocation in 3, 2, excited Dan. Can't even sit at peace. Look at me, shaking. <laughs> it's very dark. Really dark. Ready for your mission briefing? This time out, we'll be investigating the Neo-Paradoxia. This new paradox was only recently discovered in our own timeline. But we have detected the virus in its remains. It's a gentle herbivore, and it's not clear how it came to be infected. Whatever the explanation, this is a golden opportunity to study another living creature connected to the virus. Focus your view on the shutter controls when you're ready. Neo paradoxes. Right, let's go. We're near like an archipelago, just at the edge of a continental cliffside. It's an unusual location to find Neo paradoxia, but it's secluded. We can use this to our advantage. Be careful. We're near the open ocean, and predators may be near. Please head straight to the archipelago. Head straight to the Falks Archipelago. Shadow Moses Island. Metal Gear Solid. Right. <laughs> what is that thing up there? Is that the new Neo... Paradoxus, that looks like a sort of hippo toad. Is that right, Rob? Rob? Is that them there? In the open ocean, he told me to be careful. I should be careful. Here, this looks like a herd of Neo Paradoxia. A good find. Tag one with a probe to confirm. With this guy, he looks fairly tangible up there. Neo paradoxia confirmed. Let us check for signs of the virus. Please scan the neo paradoxia. Right, we'll freeze time and we'll have a, a look at these two. Get right up close, get a good look at you. Too far away. Yeah, I'm a kind of hippopotamus looking thing, aren't you? Good. The DNA I detect links Neo Paradoxia <gasps> to modern manatees and even elephants. The Neo Paradoxia are not showing signs of viral infection. 
The herd is behaving as expected. For healthy specimens, let us keep searching. I've unlocked a new tool, the Exoscan, to allow us to record and analyze external morphology in real time. Please exoscan the legs of the nearest highlighted Neoparadoxia. I'll do that right now. I'll scan his legs, he's right there. Oh, I have to physically... I see. That's kind of cool. I can paint in these wigs. The Neoparadoxia has webbed feet for navigating at a gentle pace and digging into the sea floor to search for edible marine flora. The Neoparadoxia are dining on seagrass roots. Mm, I'm detecting one patch of seagrass that is not attracting them. Please, scan the seagrass. Uh... What are you talking about, Rob? This? This here? Where are you detecting this seagrass that isn't... Rob, what are you talking about? I suppose this, this seagrass is attracting them by the look of it. You found some that isn't. Rob, I can't see this seagrass that you're talking about. And it's a poor old bit. Move forward just in case. Just in case there's seagrass and that. There's no way there's seagrass down there. Can you go scan that stuff that they were swimming down to? Maybe it was just me. this stuff though. No. Uh, move back a bit. Just in case. Keep an eye out for, for seagrass. Oh, it's up there. That's the Neo Paradox here, isn't it? Right, we'll get you scanned. It's this infected seagrass. Oh, worrisome. This plant carries the virus. The Neo Paradoxia seem to instinctually avoid the infected patch of grass. We've not seen this type of aversion between flora and fauna before. It should not be possible to transmit a virus between so-called kingdoms of life. We must verify. Bait the viral seagrass to attract a neoparadoxia. <laughs> All right. Don't know if this is a great idea, but. Let's, let's bait some, some seagrass. Because we're wide like that. Don't eat it. Good. On to the next step. Scan the Neoparadoxia that consumed the viral seagrass. <laughs> Just freeze time. 
please tie him on you like that. Ah, the creature is now infected. The doctor will be very concerned. Robert, oh God! What was that? It devoured a Neo Paradoxia in seconds. Tag the predator quickly. It is a megalodon, oh my God. one of the most imposing ocean predators ever to exist. Fascinating and worrisome at once. We should collect all the behavioral data we can. Bait the Neo Paradoxia and behavior scan the megalodon when it attacks. Get the size of that thing. Megalodon. Look at the amount of blood that came out of that. I shouldn't have frozen time probably with all the all the blood that's coming everywhere, but I'm gonna have to bait uh one of you. Sorry about this by the way. It's the mad computer robot, he's telling me what to do and I'm, I'm only following orders. I'm just a cadet. Oh <laughs> Alright. It's cool, Megalodon, it's alright. I've got so little time. Look at that bar, it's almost away. Oh god. Oh god. I must have been too far away. It's alright, I can do this, I can do this. What a croft. How close do you have to get for you to get to too far? <laughs> oh, you're absolutely horrifying. Oh my goodness. The Megalodon incapacitates prey by attacking appendages first. It outmaneuvers prey with great speed. At top speed, we can barely keep pace. The Megalodon is a significant apex predator. I am attempting to formulate an approach to recording it. Please scan the icon interface I have created on the Megalodon. What are you talking about? Oh my god. Just swam through the wall, Rob. How am I supposed to hit? Where is he? There he is. Right, we'll freeze time on him. Scan above Megalodon. We'll freeze time so we can catch up with him. There's not much of that blue bar left. I should maybe recharge. Or recharge a bit. See where he's going. Freeze time. Look at the size of this horrifying shark. Jurassic shark. Too far. Look how close I am to this thing. Did I get Success. it? <gasps> Slipstream mode engaged. Manual controls have been temporarily adjusted. I've modified our pod's propulsion system. We are now tethered to the megalodon, so to speak. Where it goes. We follow. Not ideal, but it is the only way we can keep up. Let's proceed. How does it move so fast? Exoscan the Megalodon's fins and tail. Oh, exoscan, sorry. Too far. Sorry, catching up and getting there. It's freaking out though. I don't think it can handle this. Right, I 
Is your tail well scanned? I can't believe he just tethered us to the big giant shark. Rob. How much wonder Ali got killed when he was out doing this. He never got killed, did he? He just got injured. In his ah, head. I see. While it moves its tail side to side, it stiffens the body mid swing. Very efficient. Let's not forget to verify the virus's transmission from prey to predator. Scan the megalodon. Trying, but it's, it's not happy about me being this close to it, really. We scan you. Wait. Can we untether for this thing, Rob? Viral infection confirmed. Confirming viral transmission from flora to herbivore to carnivore. Oh, what? what? Oh, oh, hang, hang on. We've been knocked out of slipstream mode. Manual controls and propulsion systems are damaged. Losing critical power rapidly. Attempting to re-establish power. Rob. Rob, this is bad news. Rob. Forcing time dilation. We need to distract it. Quickly, fire a probe into its mouth. <laughs> oh, good work, cadet. Preparing emergency jump to our home timeline. Time dilation on. We'll need a few seconds to build the necessary power. Rob. Time dilation off. I cannot perform both actions at once. Rob. What is that? Oh my god. Rob. <laughs> that whale just bought us time. <laughs> is that what that was? A whale. Oh my god. That looks like a boss out of GDA. There he is. Finalizing time jump. Coordinates set. Three, two, one. Jeez. <laughs> that was really cool. It's quite scary actually as well. But very cool. again? We ought to have returned back to the research center. Something or someone appears to have hijacked our temporal path. We need to return to Svalbard. You figured it out last time, cadet. Perhaps you can repeat what you did. I think I got lucky last time, Rob. I went into Stonehenge, underwater Stonehenge. Scan this thing. Too far. Rob? I'm so glad you're back. We have great news. Doctor, did you see the data? The unusual rock formation appears man-made. I did. The questions remain which men are women and when and why. But for the time being, Rob, listen to me. We've done it. We have a convincing cure. Everyone is celebrating. <coughs> the cure is being deployed as we speak. It's over 63% effective. But will it stop the mutation? And that formation, that sculpture, could yield incredible information about time. Yes, I agree. The team will look into the monolith. You know, these things take time. But it's important to celebrate too. 
Get it. You've really made a valuable contribution to humanity. We all owe you an incredible debt. <coughs> and you, Doctor, are you sure you're well? Don't be so serious. This is a joyous occasion. I think the cadet has earned a promotion. Cheers to Monda Museo's newest senior specialist cadet. Bravo! It is indeed 63%. I'll leave you now. Bravo, cadet. And although you far exceeded your basic duties, you may continue to improve the cure if you are so moved. All the portals will now be open to you. Are you satisfied with 63%? If you want to collect more data, I'll be standing by. Uh, I don't know. Five hundred and fourteen million. I mean, the infected rate is dropping. And the death toll isn't moving. All the portals are open. But what I will do is I'll go get a look at the dino decks. See all these underwater dinosaurs. Ah, oh, they're still. Two dinosaurs we've not seen. So we've seen the Megalodon. And that's interesting that there's two that we haven't seen yet. Look at Neo Paradox here. Yeah. Seven foot. Distant ancestor of manatees and dugongs. Not fully aquatic like its descendants. Feet were webbed, allowed them to swim slowly but efficiently. And we'll take a look at the Megalodon. Look at the size of you. Oofed. 46 foot, 103 tons. Uh, you're a big scary. Its first bite used to incapacitate its prey. Crushed limbs or organs. Resembles a more massive version of today's great white shark. It certainly does. Megalodon, eh? So, uh, what I'll do now is I'll jump out and then I'll maybe come back and we'll go through these portals and see if we can see if we can get more than 63% cure. We'll go back to the first the first level to do that. I don't think uh, I don't think Elizabeth's cured entirely. She's coughing and I think we could do more. But I'll jump out here since I've done level four there. And since the death toll was staying where it is. But I hope you have enjoyed this as much as I've enjoyed playing it. And I'll hopefully see you again very soon for some more Time Machine VR on PlayStation 4, PlayStation VR. Thanks again for tuning in. Bye. <laughs> That's right, Hadsman. Good to see you in the chat. 
ביי.